this has not only missed the mansion and it's not only these policies which are so important to working families. It is about the Democratic Party trying to restore faith with the American people that they actually stand for something. What has been really painful about this whole process, to my mind, Rachel, is not only the dragging on of these so-called negotiations, it is that the American people don't know where we are at. Do we have the guts to take on the drug companies who are spending over $300 million in lobbying right now? Is that the Democratic Party have the guts to take on the private insurance company who does, do not want us to expand Medicare to cover dental, hearing, and eyeglasses? Do we have the courage to do what the scientists are telling us has to be done and transform our energy system away from fossil fuel? So the issue is not just Mr. Manchin. I mean, it would be really, really, really sad, and someone who worked really hard on this, if we were not successful. But it would be even sad if the American people said, these people stand for nothing. Not only can't they get anything done, they don't believe in anything. They don't have the guts to take on the powerful special interest. And I would prefer us to be able to say, look, we tried. And we had all of the Republicans bought off by the big money interest. And we had two Democrats who couldn't stand with us. Give us more Democrats. And in the first week of a new Congress, we will pass this. That's better to me than just to be negotiating forever and standing for nothing.